everybody it's sunday i got four videos coming up get ready you'll see this eventually anyway let's see if i can catch something here I turn the light down a little bit i'll turn it down a little bit more okay see if we can catch a two coming up it's a killer chemtrail that came up like a swirl anyways killer chemtrail is probably not the best word for it it's probably deadly chemtrails all right i'll be around guys God bless on Sunday. We're live. Got my friend Terry watching this. Hey Terry, if you're out there and you watch this, I'm filming. Really bright, I saw two. A two is moon. A two is purple. It's coming up too. We can catch it right there, that big white spot with that swirly chemtrail underneath it. Welcome, Marshall, Texas. T.S., I know who you are now. Your name is Timothy, and you live in Marshall, Texas. I think, anyways, I'm pretty sure Timothy S. And he was with my best friend, your dad, in Marshall, Texas. You know that? One of my best friends. So I'm thinking of the same person, and you know who I'm talking about. God bless. There you go. System coming up, 10.30 in the morning. On time, 10.30. We'll see what happens. Sorry, 10.28. It's on time, guys. I went from solid blue skies to this nonsense going up. Yep. See if we can see any asteroids ripping through. Hey, Dwayne, what's up? I know you're watching too. What's up, Douglas? I know you're watching. Sarah, hey, what's up, Sarah? Lady Laugh a Lot. Sarah's Lady Laugh a Lot. Me lady. Me lady, me lady. So, Sunday is what I do. I film the sky, enjoy the joy of the Lord. People have me a question how are Christians getting sick? Well, the only way that sickness can get in is to the spirit of fear. And God has not given us a spirit of fear unto death, but life and life eternal. So the spirit of fear comes in from the spirit of death. The spirit of spirit, the spirit of fear is the opposite of the spirit of faith. Faith, now, faith, now, faith is the something things hope for. So if you're hoping for something, you're in faith right now for it to happen. God answer your prayer that it will. You gotta believe, not doubt. That's a double-minded man, James said. James said, double-minded man won't receive anything of the Lord. Nothing. Zero. So you're double-minded, I'm saved and not saved. I'm, I'm gonna be raptured. I don't believe in the rapture. <coughs> well, if you think like that, then you're double-minded. And if you're double-minded, you probably won't receive nothing of the Lord, like he said to James. You won't receive anything of the Lord. So that's me preaching, a little rant preach. Uh, so I do it on my channel. I'll show you the guys, talk about them, and then we talk about faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So you say, well, evidence, you don't see it. Where's the evidence? It's not seen. So it's like those who have eyes to see. And if you don't have eyes to see, it's because the God of this world has blinded your eyes. Even as a Christian, you're someplace in doubt and unbelief, and the devil's blinding your eyes, and you're double-minded. So you don't receive. Now, now faith is a substance of things hoped for. So you're hoping for something, getting faith. And it's the evidence, the now, the faith, the hope, is evidence of things not seen. So you're hoping on something right now? And you believe in God for it, you're in faith. So you're believing, and then you're confessing, God, I believe this is going to happen. I believe I'll be safe. 
I believe the angels protect me. I believe that you'll come and rapture us. I believe. See, I believe in the rapture. So I talk about the rapture. I don't, I don't do it for the show. I do it because I believe in it. So anyways, I guess I'm doing a faith teaching with you guys on this Sunday. I have like four Jason Upton videos, I think, or three. I did five videos this morning. I'm going to put them up back to back. And I'm going to talk to you about faith a little bit more. Anyways, faith is the evidence of things hoped for. Oh. Now, faith is the evidence of things hoped for. Faith is the evidence. So what's the evidence of things not seen? So it's crazy, right? But it's called faith. It's an unseeable world. Now, I see the unseeable world, and I'll video it like this, and then show it to you. Because I know, by faith, God told me to do this. And I know, right there, I can see Stripe it out to me. Strap it out to the moon. And they're way up there in space. And you see in space clouds. Okay, so go back to faith. How do you know you're in faith? Because faith speaks. We have the same spirit. Remember Abraham, our father, have the same spirit of faith. Speak it. We speak of better things. We speak of the hope set before us. We speak of things that contain, pertain to life. And godliness in Christ Jesus. Wow, I'm really getting into this flow of, of telling you guys the truth of that. So, I talk about a lot, so it's easy to flow in it, you know? And so basically, what we're talking about is faith. How do you know? Because faith speaks. Now, how are you supposed to speak? Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Life and death. So, he that he's the fruit thereof, life and death. Which fruit are you eating? Life? Or, I'm scared, we're going to die, wormwood's coming. I watched the movie Greenland, and I thought, wow, that's so freaky scary. Greenland, the movie's scary. So, what are we speaking? Are we signing a contract with the devil? Yeah, I believe I'm going to die. Or are we saying, no, my father's faithful. My father's righteousness. My father never lies to me. See, that's faith talk. And so you block those lies. And you watch what you watch on the internet. You're watching every devil on the internet put stuff up for money. You're probably just being deceived. I don't watch. I watch more TV than I watch YouTube. And I watch usually stuff like Greenland or there's a movie called Barrier. And uh, Barrier is about the uh, after the pandemic, two or three shots later, 15 years later, and it's horrifying. But I'd rather watch Greenland. I did some trailers. You'll see some trailers on Greenland on my channel. I don't make any money. I copyright like crazy copyright penalties. <laughs> so... Are you bleeding for the destruction of the earth? Some people just want to see it hit. The planets are not going to hit. Wormwood's going to come in when it's time. Revelation 8 to my science, the Bible, the holy word of God, it says that the earth is going to quake. That the rich and the famous and the poor and the ungodly and the, and the godly and the heathens and everybody's going to be hiding in caves saying, God, we can't take no more of your wrath. Well, if you watch Greenland, you'll know what he's talking about. There's going to be a pummel of fire, guys, and uh, tsunamis and stuff, you know? And we're going to watch our families in disarray. So, do you want to be here? I don't, and I won't. And I'm telling you with confidence, I won't be here. God has told me with confidence, I won't be here. I was in a vision in heaven, and he said that can actually happen in the future. So, he tells me every day, so, so I'm just telling you guys, get in faith. How do you know? Because it speaks. It speaks of better things, a better covenant, a better life in Christ Jesus. The enemy wants to take it away through the government, and we're not going to let him because we're in faith. It's not going to happen. We're in faith the angels are fighting with. We're in faith. As much faith as I am about these planets, like being right there, watching two different planets form and darkness around that tree by the tree. So faith speaks. I'm going up. I'm going to the marriage supper. I'm already married to Jesus. When I met him, I got married to him. He betrothed me and married me. Now I'm married to Jesus. And that sounds kind of weird. You know, I'm not talking about homosexuality, none of that. I'm talking about being married to Jesus. I'm married to Jesus. The Bible tells me I'm his bride. So I'm his bride. I believe it. Therefore, I'm hoping in those things, and I speak those things, I'm speaking them to a larger audience, you guys, like probably a couple thousand people watch this. Okay, so, these planets scare me? No. What if a tsunami comes? I don't care. What if a tornado? What if an earthquake opens up and swallows you up? I'm going home. There's no pain in death. I died once with Christ. So the second death won't affect me. 
In the first death, I was identified with Jesus. Second death, I'm going up. And if I die, there'll be no sting of death. I promise no sting of death, no pain of death. I ain't gonna be taken in by no devils. I got a couple of angels. I probably got a, a fleet of angels gonna take me out of here. So now, if the rapture comes, which I believe and I've seen and I experienced it four times, um, going up and breathing in space. And so you will too. Um, I don't know if God's going to take you to space. But I'll tell you this. You people that are calling me morons on the comments, you might want to watch your step because touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. Now, I didn't make those rules up. But it is a death sentence if you touch the anointing and what I'm speaking right now. If you touch this thing, God help you. I pray for God's mercy on you. Anyway, so I'm preaching. Um, so today when you say, you say, Father, God, I believe in you. I believe what Chris is saying is real. I see it every time he shows a video. Come into my heart. Change my life. Get me saved. You know, I, I showed you a video on the BMAT 2 and how they're going to stop that God consciousness, that God awareness. We call it the 666 and the mark of the beast. I don't know, guys. It looks like it is. But you know something? It, I could be deceived on it, you know? And if I am, I repent. But if I'm not, you're being warned. So what I'm saying is, Today's the day of salvation. Good day. You know, I got people telling me about Christians that are getting the COVID. And they said, why'd they get it? They're Christians. I said, well, being a Christian don't guarantee you won't get sick. If you believe you won't get sick and you believe what Jesus 39 stripes on his back, Isaiah 53, then you won't get sick because now faith is the evidence of things hoped for. I hope I never get sick again. I said that when I got first saved. I, bet I had the flu once in my whole life or twice. I had it more when I was a kid before I met Jesus. But then... You know, why are some Christians getting sick? They could presume they're in faith or presume God just helps them. But, you know, we're supposed to do a lot of stuff, too, like speak right, pray right, supplements, intercession, worship. So, you know, if you're not doing all the stuff that protects you, then you have an opportunity to get sick. And so it's not like that person's fault. If you're ignorant to it, um, they get healed and just get prayed, prayed over. I really see them get prayed over to make the vaccine. So, uh, you know, you get power, life, and death, and the power of the tongue. So, if you sign a contract, like, the enemy comes to you, and you get a little sneeze, you say, oh, my God, I got the COVID, and you agree with the enemy that says you got the COVID, you agree with the news channels and all the talking heads, all the doubt and unbelief, all the anti-God, all the anti-news channels, and you believe this and start cutting covenants with your mouth saying, I believe it, I'm going to get it, then you're going to get it, guaranteed to get it, because of fear. Now, what is it? I believe it's a super, super pneumonia. No more complicated than that. Take all the fancy theory names off of it, and it's just pneumonia. And who gets it most? Old people and young people, because they're susceptible to their immune system. So, just want to say this. When you pray in the Spirit, and you guys that pray in the Spirit know it, your immune system, by science, has proven it goes up 300%. So, where you might be low on D and low on C, pray in the Spirit. Read your Bible. You learned about the VMAT too. It expands when you read, pray, and worship God. So it's more protection even. Now, you also have angels to protect you. Man, I'm on a roll. This morning, I'm going to keep preaching because I've been in the Word. So you got angels. Well, these angels are not just little fat, you know, little fat doll looking fairies with wings. These angels are warriors with armor on. And the power angels that work on this level and in the second heavens of the clouds, like we see, They'll work with you if you give them commands. You can speak to them. You speak to them as the word of God. Like if you say angels of healing, there's angels of healing. Release, I release you now to go to, let's say, Susan S. house right now, live, I love saying this, and begin to touch her body and heal her from multiple problems that I can't even mention to so many. So right now, heal, Susan, be healed in Jesus' name. That's how I live. I'm by faith. I just sent angels. I just released angels in my spirit. So life and death are in the power of the tongue. So today, Susan receives life. Douglas receives life right now. I speak life over Douglas right now. So I can't narrate on my computer, but I can narrate when I want to on this. And so the sky's the excuse. It's actually pretty cool looking. It's kind of fading out and off. I'm going to finish this with... Receive Jesus today. Accept him in your heart. Tell him to come in and change your life. Tell him to make himself, ask him to manifest himself. His love before you. Start reading the book of John. You got a Bible? Read the book of John. Or go online. There's no excuse. 
Start reading about the book of John. It'll tell you how much you love it. And so you guys know I love you. So I'll talk to you later. And God bless. This is your Sunday morning preach. I'm going to put some Jason up and up. So all day is going to be just God, God, God. All day, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's right. So just get over it. Go ahead and get on board the Holy Ghost train. So thank you, Roy. Your video's coming out. Thank you, Bible. Thank you, Douglas, for all your pictures. Thank you, Ken. Talk to you later. Bye.